We at BFFs, I would say, had a big week, and we were talking a little bit like the best way to handle it because we are, I, I would say we're like a comedy drama podcast is how I would describe us. Yeah, like we yeah. don't really want to take anything too seriously, but we are embroiled based on our last pod. We had Mads in, I would say, very serious um, subject matters, which is not always the easiest to talk about, especially when it's kind of a he said, she said, and you don't know all the facts. But Mads came on uh, the show last week, and we were talking about Taylor and C&Ds, and possibly she alluded, which none of us picked up on, of having a past history with Taylor that didn't go so great. Well, Taylor Holder, for the first time, really... I think since these rumors started swirling wherever they came from, outside of coming on our podcast and saying nothing, um, addressed a lot of the rumors, a lot of hearsay, um, which all revolve around um, sexual assault, rape charges that have never been filed, but just things you hear, like he's a bad dude, basically. Um, and for the first time, he does a video. Uh, so... Do we want to watch? How do we have this? Do we have like... It's short. It's like a minute, like 45. Okay. It's all the key points. Okay. So let's watch the Taylor Holder video. For so long, everyone's been asking me uh, why I haven't spoke up. Maybe I should have. It's always, oh, I heard this or this is what so-and-so told me. Since I still don't know about any specific allegations as no one has came forward to either me or law enforcement, let me be as clear as possible as I can be with this. I have never sexually assaulted anybody. I have never raped anybody. I have never had sex or been with an underage girl. And I have never had a non-consensual sexual relationship with anybody. There is no victims. There is nothing. And as there's been so many comments about none of these people can speak up because I sent cease and desist. Cease and desist, that's not how it works. It's me saying stop publicly bashing my name or let's go legal with it. Let's let the real truth come out. And none of them want that to come out. I can promise you that. There has been multiple people that have came to me and showed me and told me about how numerous of these individuals have tried to pay other individuals to come forward and back them in this just to ruin my life. The only evidence that anyone has is me of the messages, the nudes, the explicit videos and photos and messages that these individuals have sent me and that's why no one has came forward and said anything because they know I have that, they know what they've done. At one point, all this bullshit got so deep that Josh Richards on his podcast put out that I had been arrested without going and doing his own research about it. I have never been contacted or confronted by any law enforcement about these rumors. Which brings me to Mads Lewis, who claims to know all of the information. False, you know what you've been told. She is not a victim. In fact, Mads even stated that I did not send her a cease and assist. She made a comment that you cannot send a victim a cease and assist, which led a lot of people to believe that that meant that she was talking about she was a victim. Here's proof that she was also lying about that. If you wanna know in the slightest bit of what actually happened, you have my number. I have all of the proof to prove that I am completely fucking innocent. Reach out to me, come sit down and talk to me. Have a mature conversation with me. Stop doing this petty shit on the internet for your little fucking views. Have a nice fucking day. Damn, all right. He really likes the F word. Yeah. So, all right. That video, um, I thought he came across as credible. And again, I let me preface this by saying, like, I, I don't know really him at all. And I don't know Mads beyond, like, every, basically every communication that I've had with them have been people have seen. Like, is I have no private relationship with him. So I'm trying to look at this from an unbiased source and so you, and you also don't know any stories from any victims or anything so you don't know anything from either side i don't know anything i know there's rumors upon rumors upon rumors yeah and i think the day that uh the arrest thing he said that a little like i, I don't think josh if my memory like you were saying like, uh, there yeah, was, i don't think i actually ever said he got arrested i'm pretty sure it was like there was a uh, headline headline all over like TikTok and instagram that was like Correct. taylor holder arrested and it then, was when it exploded, basically. Like, yeah, shit. yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, I like, I don't even, I think it was like, Dave, we were sitting because it was a live show, right? And you were like, oh, Taylor Holder's arrested, but not really. And then I was like, oh, really? And that was kind of, that was it. Is this the clip? Yeah. The big BFF story, which is not a story, is Taylor Holder arrested, <laughs> but not. So yeah, that took over fake. the internet. Yeah. Oh, it is fake. Everyone was freaking oh, out so about it. Oh, you didn't it. know that? You thought it was I, real? I thought it was real, 100%. Are we sure it's fake? Mm -hmm. Well, this this girl tweeted that it was fake. Cat temper and I guess she, sucks. She she, she knows. Well, well, I don't know that she knows. She's full of lies. She's a house of lies. Kareem is saying that it's confirmed fake, but the whole internet went up in the air and thought it was real. So all right, the uh, Taylor Holder right. stuff not true. Okay, 
So you're right. He kind of blew that out of proportion. Yeah, where, definitely. Like, yeah, that was like happening. Damn, he in lied. Hey, real time, real time. Now, having said that, you should have done his research before he did that video. But Mads did we say on our podcast, basically unsolicited, that she never got DM. I mean, a uh, uh, cease and desist. A cease and desist. Yeah, never reached her. He shows a cease and desist that looks like it's sent. Now, here's what I did when when this went down. I immediately reached out to Mads and I was like, hey, did you see the Taylor Holder video? He's saying he sent you cease and desist. She says, I never got a cease and desist. Um, I reached out to Taylor Holder and mm. sent him a DM. And I'm like, all right, I saw your video of you saying that you sent a cease and desist to Mads. She said, no. Did you send it like certified? Like when, when we're dealing with legal things, uh, you, th there's documentation that someone has received a cease and desist or somebody has received a lawsuit. So you, they can't be like, no, I didn't get it. I did not hear back from Taylor. And just looking at the cease and desist closely for the first time, that said it was sent via email, which is essentially the equivalent of sending it to air. Yeah. Like he just <laughs> also has it her nickname on it. Like not even her real name. It has her TikTok name on it. So there is very much a chance Taylor Holder sent or emailed a C and D, and Mads Lewis never saw. Never received, got, I mean, or I mean, knew. what like what eighteen, nineteen year old, depending on I guess when he sent it or whatever. But what what like eighteen year old, nineteen year old really checks their email? Well, right? I agree with that. In, in and and day, to be honest, you know? if you're if you're serious with the cease and desist, it's a certified legal letter that is oh, accepted. Yeah. And and Taylor Holder can be like, here it is. She got it. So they theoretically can both be telling the truth here. Um, but I and I said this before we got on. If you took away the names and took away Taylor Holder, Maz Lewis, and you had no prior like um, affinity towards either of them at some level. What Taylor Holder is saying, I agree with, which is like eight months, I think he said. There's rumors, innuendo, accusations. There hasn't been one charge legally, like, like law enforcement hasn't been involved. Nobody has actually come forward and stood by and said, this happened. It doesn't, like, it doesn't mean that, I guess, he didn't do it, but you can't fight ghosts. Like, if he didn't do it, what's he supposed to do? How do you prove your innocence when nobody is actually coming forward to say anything it's all rumors yeah i mean i guess i guess it's kind of just like uh you gotta have some sort of like undeniable proof right you got yeah. like it's not like it's unknown of like it's not like it's 100 percent unknown of what people have kind of talked about this from the female perspective but it or is like a what very, females it, have like commented on posts or stuff like that so it's like if he, but like I don't know that. To me, that's like a super small circle. Like I know in my head, I'm like, oh, Taylor Holder's a bad guy. But I don't. That's just on rumors. And, yeah. and maybe it's a little bit like we had him on the show, and he didn't say anything, and he came across as kind of guilty to me during that exchange. Like he he kind of was like, I don't know what we're talking about. Like if he did this seven months ago, I probably would be far more like he's telling the truth. Like, oh, yeah, but it's like it's taken so long for him to write up or, you know, it, it plan also goes back a to speech like, the, like that. Yeah, but it goes back to the battle of like some women are just like afraid to come forward. So then it's like totally it well, almost it, yeah. seems like he's bullying them to come forward. So then it's like, I don't know. You could just be like he's still lying and making shit up. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, 100 percent. And he did kind of. I don't want to say threaten. But he did allude to the fact, like, I have nudes, I have videos, yeah, that was weird. I have stuff. Right, like, it's like, yeah, if you come forward, I'll show everyone your nudes. That's like... That's what I got from that. Yeah, which is like, is is a weird thing to say. And also, just because a, a girl can still think you're a good person at the beginning or, like, start with you romantically in in a certain fashion because nudes and sex is a very different level of intimacy, I would say. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's It's a very different thing. So it's like, you could... You could be getting news from a girl and you think, oh, damn, I'm going to, you know, get to get a you know home run. I'm about to be able to have intercourse with this girl. And she could be thinking something completely different and it could still lead to, you know, 100%. sexual assault yeah. and, or whatever. And so. the difference what like when this happened 
with you, Dave, when all the girls came forward, you immediately like posted screenshots of your interactions and like proved yourself innocent. There was no hesitation. He's no doing hesitation. like he's just like hiding everything, which to Wh- me is which, very weird. Which is what I and, and by the way, I like is my which I think is why he came on. So my stuff and I hate talking about it, but my stuff happened and within 24 hours, I was like, actually, wait a minute. Here's all the interactions before, during, after. Yeah. And they were all like, we're friends. And then five years later, I find out there's some sort of issue for a variety of reasons. But like, I, I, that's me. Like, if I know it's not true, I will run to the front, like put a microphone in my face. The fact there is a delay, but... <sighs> Again, it, it's so hard. We don't know the truth. It's rumors and innuendo. And you could, on if you're defending Taylor, be like, well, the only reason this was actually going to hit the light of day is if I started posting screen because nothing, he hasn't been accused of anything. Yeah. So it's like, what is he fighting against? I, it's a very tough issue. It but, is, uh, for sure. It, it's one of those things where I'm starting to be like, I don't know that it's fair for everyone to say all these rumors all this stuff i get how difficult it is but if he's an awful dude asshole i'd love for someone to be brave and and prove it and then we know yeah Uh, otherwise it's it's really something that can't can't be done until whoever whoever in the uh scenario whether that's you know taylor being innocent or or the uh the rumors being correct no one will ever really know and Till like a victim is like fully able to come forward and prove everything you know Correct. what i'm saying yeah. like and and that's why i just feel like i don't know i feel like shitty kind of talking about it sometimes just because someone in this scenario is a victim whether it's whoever it is someone is a victim in this scenario and it could be taylor but someone is and it's just for them i know it's got to suck every day when this stuff gets brought up because it's probably just like reliving or rehashing something that's fucking shitty Totally. But I, I, I guess where I'm at on it is I don't know who's innocent, who's not innocent, who's telling the truth, who's not, who's a victim, who's not. Obviously, you tend to think where there's smoke, there's fire. But at some level, it's like, all right, well, if you, you what if he's not like you? We can't keep alluding to maybe he did this, maybe he did that. If there's nothing behind it, like, as he said, nobody's come forward. Nobody said anything. It doesn't make much sense um, why there'd be so much rumors and why I waited so long to do this. But it's just rumors and gossip at this point. The original um, reach out from his team, I was just pulling it up. They definitely knew something was going to happen. I think they knew the specific allegations just from the way they reached out of saying, hi, I'm working with Taylor Holder. Can you call me? Taylor's about to get canceled. <laughs> So I think they knew specifically what it was when he first came on the first time. But it never did. No. that's the, they, they want us to sign um, NDAs and then not release the episode till the allegations came out was what their original pitch was. We said we're not going to sign NDAs. Um, they said, all right, then it can't. you still can't just like your word that you won't release it. And then you were like, he didn't say anything. We can release that. And so we told them that we're going to release it. And we did. Yeah, because his Taylor's mom went on and said, like, we never asked for his side of the story and like all that. But that that like Wendy commented that on Instagram and whatnot. But that's just not true. Yeah, he he didn't want to talk about it. I mean, he came on the podcast. We said, what's up? Like and we like at the start, we're trying to be like pretty nice, I would say, about the approach and like weren't using specific words. We're kind of like, all right, so there's this stuff happening. Like, what's going on? What's your side? Until eventually, Dave, you were just like straight up like, all right, there's sexual assault rumors. What the fuck's up with them? Because like, we're not getting any answers here. We're just playing a game of like uh, ring around the rosy. So after we asked, he just, he, he denied that there were anything and he said he didn't even have any idea about that stuff. So it's like, it just doesn't add up. He would have had to know if, his mom is saying, well, we never asked his side. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? It just doesn't, doesn't make so, sense. So the mom is saying what exactly? The mom is saying, this is her exact words. If Dave likes Taylor, he would have asked for his side. He promised not to post the first time Taylor went on there until Taylor's team gave the okay. But he did it anyway just for views. He is horrible. He is too... He has, his two sidekicks are terrible as well, which is me and Bree. I guess we're your sidekicks. <laughs> Well, yeah, I, I, and it's kind of what Austin just said. We didn't ask Taylor to come on. Taylor asked to come tell his story on this podcast, 
And we're like, fine. And then they wanted to control the rules of engagement. Like, what are you talking about? But we I, always said, didn't you guys like, it was always no to that correct. answer, right? Yeah. Like it was like yeah. no on the NDAs. No, like we're going to post if nothing's really, nothing was said, we're going to post it. We told them that. Like it was, I it have was zero, yeah, I have zero allegiance to Taylor or Matt. Like I'm just, I'm going by how I'm evaluating this situation. But that, that, made Taylor look guilty. We didn't put Taylor in a corner. His PR team called us and asked to give him a platform because they thought allegations were about to break. And he said nothing. That had, uh, it, Taylor's mother is he also, I think, changed fucking idiot. his mind because his team, I was pulled up those two, texted us in the middle saying, this kid, LMAO, he fully knew we reached out to you guys because he came on and pretended like yeah. he didn't. Like That, that was his so, team texting us. Uh, here, yeah. Here's a memo for Taylor's mother, who now I despise, <laughs> do not get into what he said, she said with me. Like we tell the, I, I am telling the truth of how this perceived. This makes me think you're full of shit now and turn on him. What are you talking about? We put him in a corner. Uh, yeah. I mean, like why? What, he what, what? asked to come on our show. Yeah, we have no, we have no benefit in this scenario whatsoever by lying about anything. They like we have no ties to this. Like fucking from a like investment standpoint you know what i mean like there's nothing for, for us to win or gain or lose in this scenario we're just reporting on something and telling people how we see it that's i it. i said that there's a thing said a fan said that i like taylor but i have no proof of being innocent and he should email dave to show proof i fucking said that proof of being innocent no that fa that fan was saying that you to his mom that's a comment to his mom being like if taylor's innocent oh. he should send all the proof to dave because dave but that that's where him. that's where it's like i i that's where i get all conf convoluted because it it shouldn't be anybody's responsibility to prove they're innocent when nothing has actually been said like it, you're innocent till proven guilty nothing yeah. has been said so he doesn't have to email me anything. And again, he came to us. He made things, his PR, whatever. He came on and acted guilty. And it took him eight months to finally respond to that, essentially. Yeah. With con with conviction. And it almost thinks it, it, the, the vibe to a degree I get is he thinks it's past. Like he now thinks he is past whatever was going to maybe happen. It's not coming. And now he's coming forward. Who fucking knows what the real truth is? Taylor's yeah. mother also said Mads is not a victim. She's done this before. Next to think Taylor has on Mads would blow your mind. That, it, to me, is not a good thing to say. No. Because, again, it's like you're trying to silence somebody who may or may not be a victim with threats. Yeah. Like, And, and by the way, if you look at... I hated doing this. You know how I fucking want revenge on people who lied. If you yep, go yep. look at my shit, I never said once the names of the females involved. I went after Business Insider. Yeah, like I know I could sue the other people for lying. I don't want to do it. I'm not trying to. If they, I don't, I'm not trying to silence anybody. I haven't said their names to be going after like the women. Like, well, I have something on threatening Matt, them so, is yeah, like crazy. Like we have we have something that'll blow your mind, so she can't speak. That makes that that swings it back to well, like and why that, do you have to do that? Yeah, that almost yeah. makes it like that's why Mads completely flipped a switch because she's like, what the fuck are they going to post about me now? I don't want to talk about it, and this is why no one's come forward. That's what that Which seems like. Also, could lead to what Josh is saying if you are flirting, talking, sending videos, whatever, back and forth before something happens, and you're in possession of those. I could see that being a real reason why you don't want to come forward you don't want your nudes and sex and whatever out so it's yeah just or you just think people won't believe you right like because because there's gonna be those videos out like it's it is a fucking just wild thing to be like i have people's nudes so don't I, if they're I'd gonna say something i'm gonna to show their nudes forward on the internet like it makes sense that no one really has yet if it's true complicated issue with multiple sides like yeah and you can i guess theoretically however you see it i and I sound like a broken record. Unfortunately or fortunately, however you look at it, and I don't know if you take, this is what I said before, if you take away the name, so you don't know Taylor, you don't know Mads. If I just saw this story, I would tend to be to the guy, well, it's put up or shut up. You got to stop saying shit or rumors because nobody's come forward and he, it's innocent until proven guilty. That's yeah, how yeah. I would look at it at this point. Uh, I, I would I would agree. Agree with you too, Dave, on on the point of like it's innocent till proven guilty. If I think there wasn't a 
just such a weird trail of things that he's done post the rumors. You know what I'm saying? Like, and like, I just, yeah, I just feel like coming on the podcast, like the way he handled, there's just things that to me just don't, don't add up. A little, um, a little fishy. Yeah. yeah no, I don't disagree with again, that. Again, it, it's like, I, I guess like, you know, there, there people do lie. So someone's got to be lying in this situation. So who knows really, I guess who it is. Only the people that were in that room at that time are really, really going to know. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just a fucked up situation either way. Sad.